When I'm writing, it just feels like I'm just on a little adventure with me and the horse and the dog and we're just kind of out there and the horse is honestly just like an extension of yourself. My name is Sam Gubera and I shoe horses for a living, which is a super random job, especially in the Bay Area. Um, I'm the only one in my family that even does anything with horses at all. My mom put me in riding lessons when I was six, and it was all downhill from there. But when I went to college, I took a break from horses. It only took a year for me to miss horses, and I was like, you know what, how could I get involved again and actually make money? And I remembered that my farrier seemed pretty happy, so I gave her a call. She told me the name of the school she went to, and one thing led to another. I went to that school. I did an apprenticeship under Steve Weiberg, who took me under his wing and just showed me everything in a totally different way. And I think it was just like a teaching style difference. He's still my mentor to those days, like my dad. I learned to love it, so here I am. My name is Sam, so it's kind of androgynous, right? And so sometimes when people see my card posted at a barn and just call me through that without having met me first, I can hear it on the other end in their voice when I answer the phone and they're like, oh, do I have the right number? I'm looking for Sam the farrier. And I'm like, yeah, this is she. <laughs> With farriers, you think of an older dude. Just in, Farriers are just all old men, <laughs> like all the time. So the fact that I'm a girl and I'm young, I guess, is just, it's not typical. Women farriers are more and more common all the time and I have received nothing but support from my male counterparts and stuff, so. I guess it's like male nurses. When male nurses first started coming around, it's just like, oh, that's different. I feel very fortunate to be in the Bay Area because I think that has a lot to do with me not feeling ostracized from any kind of profession or activity because of my gender. So what I do with the horses is it's essentially a pedicure mixed with actual podiatry for the horses because their hooves are like our fingernails in that they are constantly growing. In the wild, they're able to walk around and wear their feet down in a more natural way. Whereas now we have them sitting in stalls and then we pull them out to use them and we're just doing all kinds of stuff with them. So they just need that little extra protection. So essentially, even by just the trim, whether they are wearing a shoe or not, you're changing the angle of their hoof, which in turn determines how they move, how they travel, how they even stand, and what their limb is doing. So it's a pedicure, but it's podiatry at the same time. I use keg shoes, which means they come in a horseshoe shape already with the nail holes punched out and everything like that, but you still need to modify it because all the feet, just like our hands, um, they're all a little bit different. I usually throw it in the forge, um, get it hot, and I'll hot seat it. And that's when you see all the smoke and everything coming up in my face and that smoke things on you forever. Yeah, the smoke smells like <laughs> But I'm so used to it. It's just like burnt hair kind of mixed with horse <laughs> So, <laughs> great. <laughs> the only thing that kind of sucks is like, when I stop somewhere to go get lunch and I'm standing in line at Chipotle and like other people in line are like, okay, really? <laughs> like, what is that? <laughs> I have a couple of clients that um, don't have as much time to ride their horse as they would like and they know that I used to ride but don't have a horse of my own right now. So they just say, you know what? You can use my horse at your disposal if you want. Um, which is really nice. There's some kind of thrill about kind of being in control of something that's that powerful. And not to mention just being around animals in general. Like I love my dog, he comes to work with me every day. He's totally a little boy. And um, I don't know, I just, the crazy horse girl never left. I know that when I do get another horse, it's just gonna be for trail riding and going camping and just no competition in my future, just pleasure. The farrier school that I went to, the class now that, um, I think it already started, but I, I saw on Facebook that it's gonna be all women. First time that it's ever happened where the whole class is chicks. No dudes at all, <laughs> no men.